I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to explore how marginal cost and average cost are related. The question here is show that the average cost is minimum when marginal cost is equal to average cost and this is a very very important concept. So we need to show that average cost in producing any item is minimum when marginal cost is equal to average cost. So let us understand both the terms. Now first average cost. So let us say C of X is cost of producing items. Then what is the average cost? Average cost will be C of X divided by X. Do you see that? So that is going to be the average cost of producing any item. Correct? Now if we take derivative of this function, so that is the average cost. So this is average cost, right? So, okay. So C of X divided by X, C of X is the total cost and X is the total number of items produced, right? So it makes sense, right? C of X is total cost and X is number of items. X is number of items right so so it becomes average cost right so it makes sense so this function or rate of change so rate of change of this function is what so we'll apply the quotient rule so quotient rule means x square right and derivative of the numerator which is c dash x times x minus uh, the derivative of x is 1, so we get c of x. Right? So that is the rate of change. Now, to find the maximum or minimum value, what should we do? That should be equal to 0, right? So then if the rate of change of the average cost is 0, then we really get maximum or minimum value, right? So that is, that is what we have. It's a turning point. Now, this will be 0 only for c prime of x times x minus c of x is 0. And that is to say that c prime of x times x is equals to c of x, right? Or we can say c prime of x is equals to cost of the function over x. Do you see? So what we get here? c prime of x is the marginal cost. Do you see that? So that is what is called the marginal cost. So we have marginal cost here, c prime of x, and this is average cost. So when marginal cost is equal to average cost, then we get the minimum value of the cost, the average cost, right? This is this is how we can show that it is true. Okay. Now you can always test whether it is negative or positive. Now if we take a function which has c prime of x which is less than this value, so we can test this out whether it's minimum or not. So what we will do here is so our critical value here is cx of x, right? So if I replace C prime of X, that is the marginal cost by a value which is less than this, right? Let us say uh, we have CX of X uh, minus one, kind of, okay, uh, something less than this, right? Negative. In that case, this side of the function will be a value here. If I pick, pick a value which is more than the average cost, then I get a positive value on the other side, correct? So that means the function is decreasing in this side and increasing on the other side. So that results into the minimum value, right? So that ensures that we get minimum at the production level when 